Hey Derek, thanks for sending me your swim video for analysis. What I'm looking at is breathing, body balance, rotation, and kick. And then I'm looking at the three main phases of the stroke, phase one, recovery, and then phase two, hand entry, and then phase three, the underwater catch and the pull that make up the underwater pull. I meant the catch and the push that make up the underwater pull. The main things I see with you is number one, you're comfortable, um, you're breathing, you're not breathless, your kick looks fine, it's a nice steady kick, you don't have any split in your legs, it's just nice and steady. But the main thing I'm looking at is when you're breathing, you are either pushing down and lifting your head too high, like this, or you're literally lifting your head when you're turned to breathe. What I want you to do is as you're taking the strokes, I want you to rotate on your hip to breathe one part of your face should be in the water, the other part of your face should be underwater. So one goggle in the water, one goggle out of the water. If you're on your hip, it should be easier to get your mouth out of the water instead of trying to lift up your body. When you lift your head that much, it throws your balance off and, you, and it throws off the timing of your catch and your push and just that's going to impact the other phases of the stroke. Another thing I noticed um, for recovery, you seem to be piercing the water a little bit too soon. That's better than reaching too far and hovering, but I want you to work on ex just extending your hand a little bit farther out in front of you with your rotation. So the way to think about rotation is when your left arm enters, you rotate on your left hip. When your right arm enters, you rotate on your right hip. But what's going on when my left arm enters, I'm pulling with my right arm. When my, left, when my right arm enters, I'm pulling with my left arm. It's the underwater pull that drives that rotation. But for you, in your case, I would like you to do some recovery drills, fingertip drag, some hand entry drills like fist drill and use that rotation to help extend your arm a little bit further out in front of you before you enter. The third thing I noticed, and it wasn't very clear because I didn't see an underwater view, but based on the way your body was moving and based on what I saw from the side, it looked like you were um, crossing the middle line. You were crossing your body line when underwater. And you really want to be careful. You would really want to be careful of that. I want you to look down. I want you to look at that black line. I want you to pull between your belly button and hip. Push um, all the way past your hip. That's going to help drive the hip rotation. And then you're going to maximize pulling the greatest amount of water with every arm stroke. Other than that, I mean, like I already said, you look comfortable. You look pretty relaxed. Um, you're just starting some new conditioning, so it's only going to get easier from here. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, make it a great day.